I was at prison when Cartel was convicted and sentenced. Yeah, he came to GP first, but what a lot of people don't know that. What's up internet? Thank you for clicking on this video. But in this video, I'll be telling you how I spent 7 years in GP prison when I was 25 years old. Yeah, but before I start this story, I must make this clear. Prior leading up to this incident, I was a regular person in Jamaica working. Actually, at that time, I was a security, security officer, just to make it so nice. I never been arrested before, slash, never had a criminal record or a criminal history, not known to be violent, you know, get along with everyone in my community, you know, I don't think. Nobody have nothing bad for say or too bad for say about me. I was just a regular kid growing up. You don't know kids kids fight and all of that. That don't count to me. But then anyway, that, that goes for sure, you know, how a young man in Jamaica can just a trad life and a try to make it and your life just turn if you are 360, you know, that is how life can be. But I got to start the story, you know, as I said, I was 25. Actually, I was coming from work and my girlfriend at the time, um, she called me when I leave work as I used to work during the night. I used to do night shift. Yes, I work at cement company for two years and three months. Yeah, so while coming home, she called me and she said if I could buy a gleaner, Sunday gleaner, because I worked the Saturday night and was coming home the Sunday morning. So anyway, um, I buy the gleaner at downtown Kingston before I take the bus to Portmore. Anyway, when I reach home, I give her the gleaner and anyway, she, 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 you know, such a Sunday morning, you come home and you try to do everything before you go catch your sleep and all of that and all of that. So any day, a day run off. One day run off and me and she said to me, say, if I can go and take a test for her. So I said, what do you mean? So she said she see a test in the classified part of the gleaner and she said she qualified for it but she said she cannot take the test because one of the criteria is you cannot have a child less than two years old. At that time my son was under two years old. So she asked me to go and take the test for her. So I said, yo. Anyway, I said, yo, what type of work that? So she said, it's for work in prison. So I said, yo, I don't want to work in a prison. And she said, no, man, it look on the benefits, them. It's a nice job. You know, you can go and, you know. It's a nice job. She said, just do it for me. So anyway, at the time when she buy the classified, um, the gleaner and looking at the classified section, they, there were three drive, recruiting drive. So when she buy it, it was the last one at Michael Teachers College. Anyway, me get myself ready for the next time when them have the, 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 the recruiting drive turn up at Michael Teachers College okay, I forgot that day when I go and I see the crowd on that big field in front of the Teachers College I say yo I not, not, never doubt myself but I said just the crowd it was just a turn off for me and when I enter them check your feet if your ears bore, 
them ask if you have no tattoo which me never did have any anyway them let me through me go through the entrance there so I never know so them they go test again so anyway when you go through the main gate them put you in a batches of hundreds so every batch you see there's 100 anyway me going on my hundred and I want to tell you, so you know, when I look, I see one of my bridges, you know, I know. And that man, me know so him of, bo, him is bored. But me look him, you know, me I look at him and I make eye contact and like me and say to him, say, yo, what the hell you do yourself? So? Your ears not bored. Oh, you pass the gate. That's so what I talk to him, you know. So anyway, um, each batch I go up, because you have to take spellings test. You have to test. If it, first thing you get is spellings. If you feel the spellings, you can't do no more tests. Yeah, I think you do English and then maths. Anyway, people are go out and as some people go, people are left. As you feel, you see people are leave. So anyway, how them used to do it? They used to call who pass the spelling and send who who feel. So anyway, when when at my time and we go take the spelling, them, them call out a group of people which me the thing I feel me feel but them switch it round them say everybody else go on that set pass which me didn't say set so. some me do the spelling some me do the English some me do the maths and pass and give me one paper and say alright listen out for me bam 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 alright time pass we pass all of that stage eh? um, we get call we do everything we process, bring in all our paperwork. Um, we go up on training. A uh, car ratchet down a runaway bay. Did six months down there training. Me I tell you the first morning me I wonder what this me go get myself in a, but go through the training, and then we did a thing. Yeah, go through graduate great graduation ceremony you know we do all of the fancy in this rifle drill and this and that and we make it look good if you know you know and um it was great after that we went on a thing named attachment attachment was where they carry us around to all the various institutions in jamaica as much as them can I only went to the Tambrin Farm, I did some time there. Went to Spanish Town Prison DP and then I went to GP. And just visiting GP, it was a crazy day as well. And then um, they sent you to the institution that you will be working at. I work at GP for the entire seven years. And it was very interested i am a human being i was scared at first but after a while you get in the groove and especially when you start to see inmates where you know you know it it kind of make you you know feel different um to add to that i was at prison when cartel was convicted and sentenced yeah he came to GP first but what a lot of people don't know that I said this in a recent video that when he was convicted and came to GP that is for your next story um, GP at the time the only prison that you can be received from the court system is GP which is Tower Street and DP those are the two receiving institution in Jamaica I don't know if it has changed but I said that to say if just to break it down whenever you are convicted and charged from the court system those are the only two institution that can receive you so when cartel came to GP from the courts they just received him and then the media thought he was at GP for the, from the get go no he wasn't at GP when the media left they 
they receive him when the media and the excitement left then they took him to the next institution i think it was um horizon so there you have it people that's how i spent seven years in gp um it was seven seven very interested years i learned a lot i learned a lot from officers and i learned a lot from inmates uh, yes so there you have it how i spent seven years and before i go i found a bunch of keys on the street this morning if you know anyone that lost a bunch of keys please comment and get in touch with me Alright, see you in the next video. Bye.